cricket's rained off again. So, I'm going to do a painting. My name's John. I'm just going to quickly do a little painting for you. I'm starting off by putting a little wash down here on my thick paper. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You have to figure that out as we go along. I've got very thick paper here, so it looks I've put quite a lot of um, water on it. And it's not buckling or bending or anything like that. So that's ants a minute. I do that with my wash brush. Move this around a bit. This is called nurturing your surface, not watching water dry. It's called nurturing your surface. I'm going to be very sort of brief here. I've got to do that. Um, and here we go. I'm going to go straight in, straight in. Put a bit of the old blue here. Look at that on my little palette there. Dollop. Dollop. Right, ready to go. Let's have it. Look at that, mix it into a nice sort of thing and just smash it in a corner like that, eh? Get your brush, clean it nicely, get some white. I know they tell you not to, but I do, just to do that. It's nice, look at that. Now what about having a bit of cloud coming up on this side? Notice how quickly I move the brush. Oh yes, a bit more white because I've run out. Mix it down. I like to use my white to mix my darks down instead of water because I like I like my paints to be quite muscular, like you know, muscular like that. See, so that's a bit of cloud coming out of this corner. It's all right. Oh, look, splashed a bit. It's always good. A bit going down across the horizon there. Take it in. Da -da -da. Get a bit more white just here, like this, just to soften the edge of that bit there up. A bit of white and white, I always like that, shades of white. And that's that bit done. That air is nice and dry now, so here I am. Just moving on to a strip of what I call distance. Look at that. Just nicely done, like that. See, I've done my nice little drawing. There's just six things you need to know about painting, painting a picture. Six things. Let's draw it properly, paint it nicely, draw it properly. Paint it nicely, that's four. And draw it properly, paint it nicely, that's six. Now I'm going to put a little wash down here. You see, here we go. Look at that, just uh, not quite as much as I did up here, because I'm just going to go straight in with my other colours here. If you're wondering about what colours I'm using and what type of paints I'm using, there is a link below that I explain all that. Um, so you can link, um, log on to that if you want and have a look at my courses and stuff that I do. Um, here I am, I've got a nice light one there, look at that. I'm working sideways, do you see? Because I like the movement of the brush going up, so I'm just getting down. Now I'm going to bring some of this green, oh look at that, Oh, Now that was not supposed to happen, but it happened, so we take it. We take it. I think they called it a happy accident, I don't really like that term myself. I want to get a bit of heft at the bottom of this picture. So with that I'm going to bring a little bit of indigo in. I like that. Um, here we go. Clean the brush a little bit. Keep cleaning that brush. Let me rag. It's down here. Off piste as they say. Here we go. Get the water in a bit of a better place. We mix it up on my palette. Look at that. It's proper dark. Oh! How about that? Oh! Isn't that lovely? Lovely. So as I say, if you are a bit confused about what I'm using, that just click onto the link below and it's all there for you. Like that, ready? A little shuffle across and that'll do me for now. That in itself is a lovely little thing. Right, so now we're gonna move on. I'm just gonna clean my old bins because they're a bit misted up in this weather. A bit warm, you know. Right, here we go. A little brush here. I'm just going to flurry along the back here like this, look. A bit small there, isn't it? Let's get something a bit more substantial. Look at make noises. And then get a little bit of substance in the bottom, maybe a bit like that, eh? Oh. That's just going to be a sort of background. You see, that sort of takes us off, gives us a, a mid ground and a background now, doesn't it? You know, a 
anecdotes, but you don't actually really know what I'm painting yet. Not really. You've got an idea, don't you? That's nice. Well, give it a bit of malarkey on the bottom. We like that. Now I'm going to come in with a little brush and go in this next field in front of Woz. You know? Not much darker, see? Look at that. Sets that back, doesn't it? So it's this far, this distant thing back a bit more. Oh, we're just going to come along there with two or three colours. There you go. I'm not going to explain too much about what colours I'm using because that will be your business. A little bit of a track there. Just blur it in a little bit. And that's all on the link below what colours I sort of use. There we are. Nice. Get a bit of dark in there. Prop a bit of dark. Look at that. Lovely. Now I'm going to turn it up the other way. This is this is very quick sort of outdoor sketchy type painting. This you understand. It's very quick. Obviously, I spend a lot more time on a um, more of a substantial painting. Look at that. I'm just using three or four colours there. Do you see what's happening? Very simple. Very nice. Very nice. Here we come. Pop a bit of dark here. <gasps> the way I did that, like in a flourish, a flurry of brush strokes and just rough that along there like that and I think we're in biz walls, you know, right there you go, a bit there and a little bit of that there, that's nice, what I fancy to give it a proper bit of distance, I've just thought of something, I've just thought of something, I'm now going into the grey here, <gasps> look at this, that's probably going to be a bit dark so I'm lightening it up with a bit of white, Probably a bit dark, so let's lighten it up a little bit. Then we go like this, look. And we turn it into a proper pastoral English scene, look. Just get that in the distance, like it's a sort of church tower, yeah, you see that, look. Get that. Darken it up on this side a little bit. And up there, and there, and there. There it is, you see? Look at that. Now just to finish it off, the old crowning glory, get an old scrubby brush. Maybe just get some of this old paint there that's on there, look at that. And then get some darker paint to go in the middle of this thing. This old scrubby sort of tree type affair. Well I say tree type affair, what I guess it's what it's actually going to be is a sort of tree. An actual tree. Not a tree type affair, but an actual tree. Well not an actual tree, but a depiction of painting thereof. Obviously, I'm not going to magic an actual tree into me. I'm rambling. I do that quite a lot, actually. I just sort of ramble. So I'm going to get a bit of this. Just go there like this with my little brush. Bring this down here like this. Look at that. Oh, a bit there, a bit there. Look at that. A couple of hard lines there, there and there. Bish bosh. What about a couple of little... People love a post. They love a post. So we'll give them one. There's a one. Just there like that, you see? Maybe another one there, another one there, there. Maybe a little sort of couple of little money shots down the front here. They won't actually mean anything, but they always look good. I'll show you what I mean. Cleans the brush, keep cleaning the brush. Just drag a little thing down there, da -da -da. you know, like that. Oh, pretty much. Just want to ruffle this edge up here a little bit. It's a bit hard, isn't it? Just take that there a little bit like that, that's nice. There, look at that. Maybe darken that bit in there like that. And then, jump, jump. And that's it. What about that? All in nine minutes. That's pretty good going, wouldn't you say? Hey, Fantastic. All that's left to do there is sign it, frame it, flog it. As I've said, if you want to know more about all this sort of stuff and what I use and my courses and all the rest of it, just click on the link below. Nice seeing you. Carry on.